The creature from under the bed leaned in closer, examining this tiny furry parasite that had latched onto the child in their care. This strange little monster, the Ted Ibar, had arrived in the house several weeks prior, simply appearing on the bed as if it had always been there. The creature from under the bed had heard of these parasites before. They were a common and vicious predator, sneaking into the bedrooms of children, feeding on their dreams at night, sapping them of their strength until finally the child's mind and spirit were gone and the Ted Ibar could occupy their body instead. Like cuckoos, they'd slip into a family unnoticed, or even welcomed, and eventually replace the child. The process could take years, and needed to happen every night without interruption, or it would have to be begun again. Creatures from under the bed, and of course, every child has one, whether they have a bed or not. All over the world had strategies for dealing with these things. They could infect the beasts with foul odors to entice parents into taking them away to be washed. They could enlist the help of dogs or cats, themselves very protective of their human children, to remove, hide, and in extreme cases, even destroy the Ted Ibar. The creature from under the bed sniffed at the wooden sword being brandished at their face. The Ted Ibar snarled in possessive rage. You will not steal this child's life, tiny monster, said the creature from under the bed in a voice like creaking floorboards. You cannot reach me on this bed, creature, shouted the Ted Ibar in fury. They banished your kind. Why do you bother protecting them when they turned their backs on you centuries ago? The creature from under the bed sighed a long, sad sigh, like an old door with rusty hinges slowly coming open in the draft. Because, little monster, we will always love them.